So today we've got a super scientific ballistics and kinetic energy experiment going on between these two rifles. Also known as, we're going to shoot water jugs at 300, 400, 500, and 600 yards and see which one makes the biggest splash. So stick around for that. Let me tell you about the guns first. Sitting here closest to me, we've got a complete Seekins build. This is a six arc. It's got a 22 or 24 inch barrel on it. I can't remember which. Uh, we've got our dead air can up on the front. We've got the MDT um, double pull sky pod uh, bipod that I'll be using. Coming back up here on top, we've got a spur mount and a zero compromise optics four to 20 optic. And we've got some adjustability back here. All in all, an excellent rifle that I've had for about four or five months now. Shoots great. Over here in the flat dark earth, we've got a complete build from Alexander Arms. This one is chambered in 6.5 Grendel. So you could call this a 6.5 Grendel versus 6 arc test. I'll be running the same suppressor up on front, same bipod. Coming back, I've got a worn one piece mount here and a Vortex Viper PST 5 to 25 for the optic. Luth AR stock back here on the back has plenty of adjustability. This rifle I've had for more than a year. Grendel's a huge, a huge favorite of mine. Trying to see if the, uh, you know, better ballistics, at least on paper of the six arc, really translates into anything different at these mid-range usable ranges. What are they really designed for, good for, in your context? Let's get to shooting. First shot, 300 yards, water jug, 6.5 Grendel. So let's see what we got here. 1.4 to 300 for the Grendel. Here we go. And hopefully I can hit it the first time for you guys. Otherwise, this is going to be a little embarrassing. Oh, we hit it. Not sure exactly where, but I can see all kinds of water draining out from behind it. I don't really have enough water bottles to do a do-over, but I just barely nicked that guy. That's pretty disappointing. I held a little bit too much wind, and I, now that I get down here, the wind is actually like non-existent. So I'll do a little better for you at 400, hopefully. All right, you guys, 400 yards, 6.5 Grendel, water jug. Hopefully you can see it in the camera. It's calling for 2.4 on the data. And I'm going to hold almost no wind this time, and hopefully we get a good impact. It's coming kind of towards my face this time instead of a full value. So here we go. There we go. A little better hit that time. Still not sure where I hit it, but we're dumping water. So entered here, came out here, hit the target splash back and cut it all up a little bit more but there you go all right guys six five grendel 500 yards water jug and we're calling for 3.6 for that distance this time i'm literally going to give it no wind and hopefully we get a better hit here we go Well, we're draining it. I'm going to hit it again just on the off chance that whatever. Might as well. If you can, why not, right? All right, let's run down and see what that one looks like. All right, guys, here at 500 yards, you can see the impact right there. And the back of this one is all tore up. Okay, you guys, this is the six arc. 300 yards, water jug, calling for 1.2. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that splash looked a little bigger than the first time with the Grendel. Six arc, 400 yards, milk jug. I don't know. So far, the six arc has got a bigger splash in our super serious kinetic energy transfer test. 500 yards, this is the six arc, 
tiniest little bit of wind right to left. So we'll adjust for that. Good impact. Blew that sucker out again. Run down range, take a look at that one, and I've got some final thoughts. Impact was here and just destroyed this thing. I mean, there's just nothing left of it. Six arcs definitely got some punch. As if you leave a, a comment, let us know which you would prefer the 6.5 Grendel with a 123 grain or the six arc with a 105 grain. Just from the water explosions of the water jugs, the six arc is definitely transferring more energy. It's expanding sooner, even though they're basically the exact same bullets. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. Seems like the six arc is is uh, expanding sooner, transferring more uh, energy at each of the distances than the Grendel is. Now, this is not necessarily an accuracy test. It's really just discussing the ballistics, trying to figure out some energy, trying to give you context. Like eh, if you were to pick one or the other, like we'll get back to the house and I'll bring up some uh, ballistics charts and I'll kind of go through that. All right, guys, using the GeoBallistics app here, I uh, just want to scroll down. This is the Alexander Arms, but as I choose it and then I scroll down on it here, I want you to take a, a notice of the far right bar. That's the energy, the foot-pounds of energy. We're going to take a look at kind of a mid-range distance and a long-range distance for both the Grendel and the Six Arc. So right now, let's just take a look at 600 yards. And on the Grendel, we've got a foot-pounds of energy transfer, 663.3. Just kind of keep that in your mind, and then we'll scroll down to 1,000. That's 305.9. So again, just keep that in mind. But I also should throw in our wind. Uh, we're just I put in a 90-degree full-value wind at 10 miles an hour, so you can just keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and switch to the 6 arc real quick, and I'll show you the numbers there. So again, scrolling down, keep in mind that far right energy transfer um, column. We're going down 600 yards, looking at 754. So almost 100 foot-pounds of energy more at that distance out of the faster, lighter weight bullet of the 6 arc. And then, of course, I'm going to scroll down again to the 1,000-yard number. We're looking at 365, so maybe like 60 foot-pounds. But here at these farther distances, we're really talking about target shooting. It just really comes down to the drop and the wind bucking ability of the round. And the six arc is uh, ballistically superior to the six five Grendel in just about every way. Yeah, my final thoughts, guys, I guess. I will be switching to the six arc. I think it is flatter, uh, it's faster, it's got better energy transfer, it seems, at all of those ranges. And um, I really don't see a downside. Uh, both platforms run, you know, without malfunction, um, with the suppressor, without the suppressor, good tight groups. Um, the six arc has slightly less recoil. You just can comment and let us know if you think it's kind of the new fad and it'll and it'll go away. Although I will say, anytime Hornady has come out with a with a cartridge and started to mainstream it still around. Call it a fad if you want. Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out those links below the, the description and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.